In this question, we'll take a look at four basic absolute value inequalities, and we'll graph the solution set and also express the solution set using interval notation. Remember, the absolute value of a real number is a real number's distance from zero. So looking at our first inequality, we have the absolute value of x is less than three, so we're looking for all the numbers on the number line whose distance from zero is less than three units. And that would be the numbers between positive three and negative three. And notice in this case, the endpoints would not be included because three and negative three are exactly three units from zero, not less than three units. So a couple ways to show this graphically. Using points, we'd make an open point on negative three, an open point on positive three, and then we'd graph the interval between these two values. These are all the real numbers on the number line whose distance from zero is less than or equal to three units. Another way to graph the same interval would be instead of using open points, we use parentheses. We have an open parenthesis on negative three, open parenthesis on positive three, and graph between the values. These graphs indicate the exact same interval. Using interval notation, we have the interval from negative three to positive three, but because the endpoints are not included, we use an open parenthesis here and here. If the endpoints were included, we use square brackets, not parentheses. Next, we have the absolute value of x less than or equal to six. So the solution set consists of all the real numbers that are less than or equal to six units from zero. So all the values between six and negative six, this time including the endpoints, would satisfy this inequality. So we make a closed point on negative six, a closed point on positive six, and we graph all the values between. I forgot if I mentioned before, but using our online homework, the open dot means the open point, and the dot means the closed point. Another way to graph the same interval would be to use square brackets on the number line, indicating the endpoints are included in the interval. So this interval is the exact same interval using different notation, which looks very similar to interval notation. So the solution set or interval using interval notation is from negative six, to positive six, the endpoints are included, so we use square brackets. This is called a closed interval because the endpoints are included. This is called an open interval because the endpoints are not included. Let's take a look at two more examples. Here we have negative absolute value of x greater than or equal to negative six. The first step here is to solve the inequality for the absolute value of x. To do this, we have to multiply or divide both sides of the equation by negative one but we know when we do this to solve an inequality, we must reverse the inequality symbol. So if we multiply both sides by negative one, we'd have the absolute value of x is less than or equal to positive six. So the solution set or interval would be all the real numbers on the number line whose distance from zero are less than or equal to six units. So now this is just like the previous example. We have closed points on negative six and six, and we graph the interval between the values, or we could also use square brackets. So interval notation, again, the same as our last question, from negative six to positive six, the endpoints are included, so we have square brackets here. And now for our last example, we have two times the absolute value of x less than 10. Again, our goal here is to first solve for the absolute value of x, so we would divide both sides by two, since we're dividing by a positive, we do not reverse the inequality symbol. So we have the absolute value of x less than five. So we're looking for all the real numbers on the number line whose distance from zero is less than five units. Not equal to five units, but less than five units. Which means in this case, the values would be between negative five and five, not including the endpoints. So open point, open point, and all the values between these two or we could also use a round of parentheses here and here, indicating the same interval. So the interval is from negative five to five using interval notation. The endpoints are not included, so we don't use square brackets. We use a rounded parenthesis here and here. I hope you found this helpful.